What's up guys? Captain Mike here. I rely way too much on this thing. So today, we are turning off the phones. We're putting them away. We're only gonna take them out in case of an emergency or if we need them for something. I'm turning off the phones. My phone alerted me the other day that I'm on this thing an average of four and a half hours a day. So if I can, I want to rewind here to 1989, which is the best childhood memory that I have of when I went to LA Key and Boca Chita for the first time with my dad, my sister, one of our friends. And it was just uh, something I'll never forget. Check it out. How high will these fuel prices go? We're at 490 on the water here. Now, granted, I do have a trailer and if things continue to get too crazy, man, I'm gonna have to pull out the boat, go to some of my little honey holes where we can get rec 90 for like, you know, almost $2 less. There's the boat. We got the forward seating here today. The phones are away. They are off. They are not on silent. They are not on vibrate. They are completely off. I am completely disconnecting and I really need this. I feel like a lot of people kind of need this. Just reminds me of growing up as a kid. We didn't have all these distractions. We were going outdoors. We were playing sports. We were fishing more. We were learning new things outdoors and just enjoying the beautiful. I mean, look at that. I got a frigate back here flying over overhead. Just a, a gorgeous day. Wouldn't mind having a top today, but I'm gonna improvise. I have an idea that I'm gonna try to work out when we get out there. Um, we just put about 100 gallon, actually 80 gallons into the boat. So um, I don't expect to burn near that much, but there's always something going on over here. So today's plan, we're not fishing. We're gonna do a little bit of snorkeling. We're going down to Southern Key Biscayne down there, around the islands of Boca Chita and Ragged Keys and Elliott Key and all that stuff. Valerie's been dying to do this trip on this new boat, so we're gonna take you guys with us. Here comes Valerie, just paid the bill. I know she doesn't like seeing big gasoline prices like that. Oh. Beautiful day out here. We've been dying to do this trip. Now, if you guys watched a previous video where we went to Boca Chita, I'll put the link up here. We took the ocean because it was so calm, but today it's blowing a little bit. It's about 10 to 15. Yes, sir. How are you? So every time I get fuel, not only do I jot down in my log book, I also go into my Simrad here and I reset my trip. So I start with zero gallons. Essentially, every time I come on the boat, I have this one trip that I'm logging and I get to know how many gallons I burn. So today I'm gonna to be giving away a Real Reports topless shirt. All you guys gotta do is comment how many gallons do you think I'm gonna to burn total today? I'm going from essentially a hollover to Boca Cheetah. I'm gonna show you right now. 
how many miles that is on our nav. Nav is showing about 27 miles to go. Um, so we're gonna do our round trip today. I'm probably gonna bounce around a little bit if, uh, you know, if there's a lot of people in one area or the mosquitoes are bad or something, maybe we'll bounce around. So take that into account when you're estimating how many gallons you're gonna burn. And I'm gonna pick a winner in the comments. time I've gotten down here. Didn't time it, but cruising at 40, 42 the entire way. Love it here, man. Not a lot of boats here. Maybe, I don't know, 10 boats here right now. Welcome to Boca Cheetah, guys. We're gonna have to get up there today. Welcome to Boca Cheetah, everybody. I'm gonna be whispering out here because this is just one of those places that's so zen that I just wanna chill and keep to myself and quiet. I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have some lunch, observe the park a little bit. I got the boat situated over here. I think we're gonna uh, take a walk inside the park area over here through the trees typically there's a lot of mosquitoes in that area but it's pretty bright and sunny we'll see what the mosquitoes are doing and uh just reading all the signs maximum two vessels tied together no loud music at any time no fishing swimming or anchoring in the harbor quiet hours Begin at 10 p.m. That's kind of cool. No unloading dock in the yellow police area. So I am not. Oh shoot! He is over there. So I'm in a pretty good spot over here. When I come to the harbor, I like to be ready with at least one big fender. I like to use this round ball right here. It uh, acts as a bumper in the center of the boat. If I have a bigger boat, obviously I'm using multiple fenders, but this one I just put out. I was going to tie up a little bit differently, but this isn't going to do anything, so I'll probably remove this one. 
Salud. Y voy a ponerle fresco. No. ¿Sí? Para arriba, para el centro y para adentro. What a beautiful day at Boca Chita here. It is hot. Let's take Valor on one of these paths, but first we're gonna walk to the other side near the, near the lighthouse over there. Hi. How are you? Good. Hey. Good. So there's a topless National Park Service boat over here. And honestly, the FWC, all these park service boats that are gray and black were the motivation for my boat. So this whaler, if I ever found one of these at auction, I would buy it in a heartbeat and just hold on to it because they just don't make them like they used to. Check this thing out. Got the windshield on there, nice leaning post, built-in cooler. Okay. shallow it is. Can't imagine a boat would try to get through here. Let's see if we can find Valor here. Nope. Yep. Mira, ella tiene camping ahí. Ah, este es el lugar. Yep. Okay, bye. Pero necesito mis zapatos para acá. Eso, ah, es para pescar. Caballero. No más. Obvio que más. En un lugar, en tu mesa.
nice little breeze and a lot of sun so no mosquitoes and no seams yet but we are on the outer edges Port of, order. of the island Es vivo. Mentira, pero... ¡Ay! ¡Ah! ¡Eh! ¡Yo puedo comerlo! Es ilegal. No, no es ilegal. ¡Ay, mira! ¡Se va a salir! ¡Cuidado! Eso es demasiado rico en Venezuela. Yo sé, es muy rico en Bahamas. ¡Ay, qué rico! Yo me lo como con limón. Eso se llama en Venezuela, no sé, tiene otro nombre. here a little bit I just want to show Valerie a different area um, I haven't been over here in years but over here by by Sands Cut you get a lot of water movement and a very low low tide which brings up the sandbar and uh, some crystal clear water absolute bathtub water once you get closer to the to the cut there so we're gonna go over there anchor a little bit looks like there's quite a few boats here already I just spend a few minutes over here and head back north. Doesn't get any better. Nope. 